guys, welcome back once again. For those of you new here, hello, welcome. My name is Evie and we're playing some more of the franchise zoo today. I played a little bit last night, didn't film it because I was just wanting to kind of decorate the place, fill it in a smidge and whatnot. Did I get mildly ahead, like out of control? Yes. So let me show you what I've done, shall I? Let's go this way, because I don't I don't really want you to see what's behind me. Oh, you just saw a snippet of down the bottom. But we're gonna go to the start of the zoo. <laughs> and you guys did kind of see it. But yes, alas, I've decided screw it. We're just gonna name the zoo Help Me. Because why not, really? Why not? So yes, as you walk in, the keeper hut is now kind of hidden away. A little bit. Uh, and then you come into the big ol' help me sign. It's just the big ol' help me zoo. It's it's who it is. I can't deny that this zoo isn't help me, you know? Okay, and then just making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. Uh, we've got some pangolins off to the side. Potentially one of them is pregnant. I'm not too sure. And then, oh, what's this to the right, you say? Oh, this is a nice little deck. It's also got a nice little boat. And it's, it's beautiful. Oh, don't mind that little fruit stall. I made a fruit stall and just put it up on the workshop. I was just playing around last night. I felt like getting creative. Plus, I thought I might use it in this as just like little decorations throughout the place because I've never really been one to decorate a zoo. But here we are. I made a boardwalk. I put a boat in it and a ladder as well. Who am I? I'm out of control. Somebody stop me. But again, I put a nice little... Uh, you cannot cross here, there's bars, staff only kind of thing, but really, if somebody wanted to cross that, I don't think those little bit of bars are going to stop them, nor is the rope on the side, you know? Now, I was having my thought process here was, potentially flamingos. I thought they could be cool, but I was also like, hmm, ooh, actually, saltwater crocodiles would be amazing in there. And I think you could nearly get away with putting, like, a glass barrier under the water so really they can't come all the way up here but they can go like halfway. I'd have to play around and see if that would actually work or not but I feel like it potentially could. Uh, but other than that I don't think I did too much work. I think I put some more trees up around the back here unless I did that in the last video. I can't remember. That is not going to work for me. Uh, let's shimmy that down a smidge. Hopefully that's enough. <gasps> Excuse me? A baby to pair? How old are you? Two months old? How have I missed you? Oh, I am very excited about that. Yes, the baby to pairs have to be some of the cutest. Like, just look at them. Oh, Like, are they a technically a type of pig? What are they? I don't know. You know who will know the Zoopedia? It's an endangered mammal native to the woodlands of Central America. It is one of five species of to pair. Really? Four of which live in Central or South America. Males and females are similar size, although females are slightly larger, and both have dark brown to black coats, as well as a pale chin and chest when fully grown. Calves, meanwhile, are tan with white spots and stripes. The coloration provides them with camouflage in the dappled light of the woodland where they live. <laughs> the main threat to this endangered species is deforestation, which is destroying their habitat. In order to try and reduce this, conservationists are heavily concentrated to protecting the woodlands and rainforest of Central America. Hunting is also a threat despite it being illegal to hunt to pairs in Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Panama. These laws are rarely enforced. They look adorable. Like, I hope they're actually that small in real life. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you my little, <laughs> my little fruit stall that I made. See, isn't this cute? Just a little tropical fruit stall. <laughs> it is on the workshop if you guys are interested, I will have a link down below. Actually, speaking of which, oh, we've got 34 grand now. Nice. Oh, excuse me. Did I miss the frickety fracking? No, we are still good. 1.6. I might send you to the trade center. You know what? Because I think we're going to have to buy some more pangolins soon. They are getting old. Oh, did one of them die? Ooh, a pangolin died and I didn't even realize. I kind of feel bad about that. I think I want to put, yeah, either the crocodile, the gharial, or the flamingos in here. If it is the crocodile, the gharial, I think I will then add, like, the reptile house over the back here so you can see maybe their, like, undercover sleeping area will be, in fact, in the reptile house. But we'll cross that bridge at a later date. Today, however, we're going to do a different animal. What animal? I don't know. But we're going to go into the animal market and we are going to see. Let's look at the species. 
What would be... Oh, we could do a tortoise. I feel like they live... They live in the wild. In the wild? My god, of course they live in the wild. They live in, like, tropical conditions, don't they? The, like, the Galapagos one, for sure, wouldn't it? And we'll do the... Aldebara giant tortoise, and we'll see how we go with those. Maybe we'll go the Aldebara giant tortoise. I feel like kind of over the back here could be a nice spot for them. Like, if I go... I know I just, like, terraformed that up, but hear me out. I'm thinking, like, down and around. Just a smidge. Like, I'll give them a lumpity-bumpity place. I was thinking about bringing this up, though. If I can, potentially. Actually, no. I think I'll, I'll do it with a rock formation. I was going to do, like, a nice little dirty cave for them. It's a really nice way to describe a nice home for them. Just a dirty cave. I know that they can't swim, but a nice little waterfall from like up here, down, trickling down. Okay, I think that'll be that'll be good enough. Okay, thank you, Rain, for making it remarkably hard for me to see right now. I was gonna say I feel like I got this really nice set of blueprints of not my blueprints, that's not gonna help me find it. Of like heaps and heaps of rock formations. There, rock caves and shelters, but that's 29 grand and that's that's too much for me to sacrifice right now, so I'm gonna have to build it. A cable just like moved on top of my computer because I just had it sitting in a weird spot, but it scared the absolute bejesus out of me. I think that should be enough space for them. If I need to bring this forward, I always can. I'm not too worried about all of that. However, I might nearly make these ones here concrete and we'll do the coloration of the concrete, so like the green. Is it more of like a mossy green? Let's do the dark green. Even though I know really we can't see anything at the moment because of the rain. But this is what happens in franchise mode and challenge mode. You cannot control the weather as much as you'd love to. You just simply cannot do it. An inspector has arrived. Oh no. Quarantine has passed. Beautiful. Vet research is complete. Perfect. What one's that? The Goliath Bird Eater. Noise. I do think I want, like, a lot of mossy rocks for this. And I actually said it right this time, unlike last time in the old Rossy Mocks, you know? That'll get ya. I think I want this all mossy rocks. Like, when I say all, I mean, I mean all. I'm not, I'm not joshing, I'm not playing around. I am super duper cereal right now because I want it to be really nice and dense and tropical. I'm not, now that I've said that, I'm not sure what plant requirements they have. That's going to have to do for our waterfall. You know, that's just what's going to have to be. I'm not going to be able to make it any better than that without spending potentially hours on it. And I know that that's not going to be fun for you guys to watch. If I can get this waterfall looking superb, I'm going to be so goddamn happy with myself. Like... Mm, my goodness. Okay, oh my god. Look at that little slow-moving cutie. Maybe his habitat's too big for him. They actually can get all the way up there. I don't think I want them to, though. How steep of a... incline can you get up there? Oh my god. I somehow made it easier for him to get up there? They're going straight for the escape routes. I can just sense it. I'm just gonna have to put rocks there. I was just going to try and naturally just make the incline too high, but I think they're too smart for that. I'll just chuck a couple of little rocks in and then we'll also throw around some plants maybe and try and try and block it off as much as we can. I don't think they'll be able to get up that little bit there. What about now? So realistically, this is just a small bit here that they can get through. They can climb- why do I call bullshit on the fact that they can climb over that? There is no way that tortoise is climbing up on that rock. There is no way. Okay, I don't think they can get there now from that way. But they definitely can over here. These tortoises are absolute little gymnasts. I had no idea they could do so much damage. Okay, happy days. We finally got there. I'm not as happy with the layout now, but I, I will be okay with it. 
You guys are absolute rat bags. You know that? Hot diggity dog. Okay. Habitat for the giant tortoise. I feel like I kind of want to put their feeding platform over here. So let's go species. Their Aldebra giant tortoise. I feel like they just need a medium one, surely. Okay, what else have we got for them? I'm going to give them nice lush bedding. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> they are happy with that. But what about their environment? Okay, they can deal with a fair bit of coverage as well. So I'm going to be a happy little chappy decorating this one. They do like the palm trees, although I feel like I don't know if I want to put them in. What have we got? The mangroves, though? I do like that mangrove apple. Maybe no mangrove tree. Although we can have more strangler figs, which I do like. I'm a fan of those bad boys. I feel like these look too long. Like, I prefer them like low little shrubs. So I might have to <laughs> tweak some of these a smidgerino. Ooh, they like the elephant ears too. I like the elephant ears too, tortoises. I know what, I know what you're about. That's not quite where I was wanting it. Okay. How are they doing? Have they got enough? I mean, I can technically throw in a lot more, but I feel like it doesn't need it as such. Maybe I can chuck like a banana palm down in the ground. No. Custard. No. I can't do another custard apple, can I? No, I cannot. What about a mango tree like down in the ground? I don't hate the look of that. Okay, so let's chuck up a... Just for the meantime, I'm going to chuck up this habitat board. The speaker. I'm going to put on the giant tortoise. Uh, that wasn't... Conflicting anywhere? No, that's fine. Okay, let's chuck in some donation boxes. The usual bins and whatnot. Just because people like to throw their trash literally everywhere. I forgot that I didn't have that connected to anything, so that's probably not helping the fact that people aren't getting to here. Um, do I have any? I do have a bin over here, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's do the same for over this side, just real quick so we do not miss out on any cash. Like, the waterfall from afar looks nice. I think if you're just up too close to it, it can be a little bit rough. Uh, tickets are underpriced. Can I bump it up to $5 and you guys not kick a stink? Is that okay? Okay, that bad boy has been researched, so let's... Oh, I've already researched the Aldebaran giant tortoise? Okay, they seem to be pretty happy with all of the um, viewing areas so far. So hopefully this one stays to that level let's add um let's add this to a work zone before i forget i know that's relatively far away but i think i think it'll have to do for the time being i don't really want to add more work buildings just yet because what i'd have to put it over here i mean i could put some there eventually no that's not much point anyway because they got to access it over here don't listen to me don't worry i'm just making it up as i go Although I am mildly afraid. No, they can't. I thought maybe they were going to try and peek into it over here. I'm just hoping that it doesn't take too long for them to get here. Should I add another keeper? Maybe. Why are guests happy about not knowing where the tortoise is? Okay, can you... Can somebody come clean up this stanky mess, please? They're not hungry, are they? No, they're alright. I don't even know if they're ever going to see each other. Like, that's so far away. Like, I've got this viewing area over here, but I don't think I necessarily want that to come into play just yet. I think I will, however. Let's look over here. They, the, the education is terrible. That's not what I was wanting to get into, though. But I do think I can potentially fix up with a little bit of information centers. Potentially, which in reality, this little house here would be much better as an information center than it would be as a food court. I think the food court would be better elsewhere. But I'm just gonna leave it as it is for the time being. It does take them a little while. But they've only got like 800 square meters, so it's not like it's a ridiculous amount too much for them. I think it, I'm like, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so everyone seems to be happy except this one person. So we'll just 
We'll worry about that a different time. Okay, so they seem relatively happy. Did they mate? <gasps> they made it and I missed it? Oh my goodness. Do I want to put them on contraception now? No. I'll hold off just a smidge. How are we doing? I feel like our baby Tepe has probably grown up. And it has. Which one is it? How do I miss it? How does that go so fast? And there we go. Um, I might release this bad boy to the wild. Let's do it. Also, how are our little pangolins going? Why does it look like there's none here? Either only one? I think that might be the last pangolin. There is one in the trade center that I can bring back, so let's see if we can find some more. I feel terrible. How did I let this happen? Maybe I'll buy... I mean, you don't have a good, good immunity, though. It's already six years old, though. Okay, I think we've fixed that conundrum. I, I'm not too sure, to be completely honest. But I am going to wrap up this episode here. We'll go have a look at our cheeky little babies. Mm, I don't like that little, little bit they've done there. I don't know if I like the noises that they make, but I'm going to wrap up this episode here. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you do not miss out when I upload next. As well, any builds or any habitats that I did do in this episode, I will have linked down below for the workshop so you can download them yourself if you are interested. Thank you guys so much once again, and I will see you next time. Bye!